Hello fellow survivors and welcome to the long dark and the next episode of Road to 500 Days. I'm right here in the dark going from Bleak Inlet. If you can't see anything that's normal well let me help you out. You're right where you left me from the cave from Bleak Inlet back to Fallen Muskeg. Just the episode before that too. And we got the single void bunker down and now it's time to find the other ones. And we need to go to the mountain town of Pleasant Valley. And I think we're going to go to Pleasant Valley first because that's an area we haven't really been to and explored properly. So I think we'll go there and repair that one and then find that bunker. And we'll do mountain town later. But we're not going to go there just yet. We're not in a hurry to finish Single Void. We are going to do it, but slowly. Now we have a few bits of loot and whatnot, but nothing too bad. We're going to have some... Uh, oh, we don't have water, that's right, because... We have dysentery and we have actually drunk but not enough and I need to sleep as well. So uh, our stamina is draining pretty fast. We're going to have to make some uh, some water soon. We're not going to do it just yet though but soon. But before we head to Pleasant Valley there's a few things we're going to do. We are... Oh sounds like there's a blizzard out there. Hmm. We are going to, um, we are going to first do a couple of things here in Fallen Muskeg. I'm going to check the bunker, the hidden bunker in this area, because there's a chance for the recipe, the prepper's pie, which I'm still looking for. And then I'm also going to head back to Mystery Lake, do some inventory. And get some more supplies for the base, because I feel like it needs a bit more supplies. It needs some water and some other things. And once I feel like the base is solid, well established, then we're going to head to Pleasant Valley. I'm going to set up a better base there, loot Pleasant Valley some more, repair the transmitter, find a bunker, and we'll spend some time in Pleasant Valley as well. So we're not going to... Ooh! Larry! Larry's home! We found there's a first sighting of Larry on this run. Hi, Larry. Hi, Larry. Did you like the present I left for you? Can I actually get up here? I know. Let's do this. I just a bit scared, so. Can he come back, like, zoom? Yeah, Larry, it's fine. Don't worry. Left a carrot for you right there. A carrot just for you. Ah, <laughs> All right. Don't hurt Larry. Buy the t-shirt. I have I have a merch store, if you didn't know. <laughs> and you can buy a Don't Hurt Larry t-shirt. Hi, Larry. I never hurt Larry. Because it brings bad luck. I don't really believe in luck or anything like that, but... Uh, <laughs> I just have it as a rule. I never hurt Larry. He's kind of rare also. This is only like the fourth time I've seen him, I think. All right, let's have a look out here. What's the weather like? Definitely not a blizzard. <laughs> Am I carrying anything that smells? No. So we are in the early mornings. It's cold. And what we're going to do is we're going to head this way towards the forge. I don't think I need to forge anything, do I? I don't even have scrap metal if I do, do I? No. Uh, but we're going to head towards the bunker. Where the bunker can be, rather. You can stop by the forge to see if you do want to make anything. Maybe forge a bit and get some water as well. And then we're going to head back to base. We're going to head back to... We might actually... While we're here in Fallen Muskeg, we might also pick up the... Um... The Memento Cache, which is over by where the bear spawns. I, that cache doesn't have much on Intel, but it has some things. But we're going to do a couple smaller things there in uh, Fallen Muskeg. And then we will head back to Mystery Lake with our stuff. We'll resupply in Mystery Lake, and then we'll head probably to Pleasant Valley. We could go to Mountain Town, uh, but I don't think so. We'll go there later. We'll go to Pleasant Valley first. And we'll uh, loot the rest of Pleasant Valley, set up a base in the farm, and do the signal um, voids as well. 
and then we'll head back to Mountain Town. We'll do that area. That's going to take a while too. And then do Signal Void. So the Signal Void uh, is going to be... I'm going to do it concurrently with setting up bases in different regions. So it's going to be quite a few episodes apart. If you would like to watch only the Signal Void parts, I will label all the episodes related to those uh, as Signal Void. So uh, you can watch just those episodes specifically if you want that. So here we are, here's the forge over there, the Spencer's uh, farm. And we are going to go up behind it, up on this little hill up here. And that's where the bunker is. So we're going to go there. It's getting cold, but that's alright. We only need water and sleep, really. Getting a bit hungry here, which is not great. What kind of food do I have? Uh, I have some cattails. I could also just hunt the wolf if I want. And There is also deer around here. Okay, so we're going to go up here. At least I think you can go up here. You can go the other way for sure. Grab this can. Up here. Up, up, up we go. I'm happy that we saw Larry. I hadn't seen Larry in a long time. I'm losing um, calories very, very fast, presumably because I am so uh, dysentery. You might need to hunt a deer or something. Here it is. Here is the bunker in Full of Muskeg. Let's have a look inside. All right, let's eat a few cattails first. I kind of lost track of which bunkers we've actually explored, uh, but we haven't done this one for sure. Grab this abandoned cache. Let's look closely. So they're all abandoned on Interloper, but some will have some minor loot in it. Most importantly, the recipe. And this one does not look like it's got anything, so it's not in this one either. I haven't been to the Mystery Lake once, so we'll check that too. Okay. I don't suppose... No, I didn't think so. Okay, well at least we checked that. Uh, let me see. I might drink... Oh, does this count actually? Let's have a look. So, 146. Let's drink a birch tea. It does not. Okay, it doesn't add to it. Okay, good to know. I think we can just uh, leave. We don't need to stay here. There we are. And this is one of those episodes where you may be able to hear my wife Alinsha in the background. Yeah. One day I will soundproof this room. But uh, not anytime soon. And also uh, hearing her in the background is reminiscent of the old days when <laughs> I streamed playing game is pretty much next to her. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know you're here, Mr. Wolf. My fingers feel numb. Go rid of him. Where's the uh, deer, if anything? The deer around? Wolf over there. How's it looking with my wood? Oh, we're good. There's some deer around here. I don't see any though. Or maybe. I'm the wolf instead. Just have some food. Yeah, let's do that. We can maybe attract a few wolves. Yeah, no deer, unfortunately. Would have liked some deer hides as well. This is a great excuse to hunt deer, but... No deer around, so we'll take this wolf then. Oh, there's three wolves. That's cool. Hi, Wolfie. Come a bit closer. 
Yeah, Wolfie. There we are. Gonna say like, <laughs> where are they when you need them? <laughs> Only try and kill the wolf right outside the base here. They can't come in, so I have to be close to it, like here or something. Let's kill a uh, the wolf here. Yeah, Wolfie. And let's see, can I warm up here? Like, no. Can't. Let's uh, have water here though. So let's drink that. And now I just need to rest. Well, I need to drink a bit more, sorry. There we are. There we are. Now I can... Now I just need to rest. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can get the other wall set too before we do anything. Because there are three of them over here. Might as well take advantage and cook a few. Oh, he ran away. Should be three of them though. Where's the third one? The one's there. Where's the other one? Downwind as well. Hello, wolf. There we are. Where's your friend? There's the third one. I don't know. Get two of them then. It's fine. Come on, Wolfie. We're gonna make a fire here, we're gonna get nice and warm, we're gonna sleep a bit, we're gonna craft some wolf stuff. And get nice and fed. Let's even kill you next to your friend. What? <laughs> that is proving annoying. Okay, so that's what we'll do. We'll make a fire. Uh, we have to use a match for this, I would think. Um, and we'll warm up, harvest this wolf, get some guts on us. And then we can lure the wolf in. Do I need to forge? I'm not sure if I need to forge. I do have quite a bit of arrows still. I could make some arrowheads, maybe. But I don't know if I have any scrap metal on me, so I don't think that's worth it. Okay, we can put uh, one coal and some sticks. Okay, start by making some more water. Ah, oh. oh wow. Sure, do that first. There we go. Okay. And let's see here. That's going to be cold out there, but that's okay. We're just going to warm up and then go and grab the wolf. We can douse this torch. And let's uh, sleep for like one hour. Uh, don't think you can cure things in there. Let's sleep for like one hour. Warm up. Weather might change also for lucky. Okay, uh, that's almost boiled. Okay, looks like it's turning into blizzard. Let's get some meat. Then we'll get more meat so we can attract some more wolves. Hey, Wolfie. Do this as long as I can. I think the water might evaporate, but we'll see. Yeah, it's picking up to be a blizzard, yeah. But now I smell. Let's see if the other wolf can come here.
There we are. How long? Uh, quite a while. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Uh, we can cook one of these while we wait. Hey, Wolfie. Where are you? There's one. Still kind of like... There we are, he's coming now. There was a third one though, and there's one here too, here he is, yeah. So this guy got scared again. There comes this one. Just to have some meat here. This is basically our base in Fallen Muskeg, isn't it? Hey, Wolfie. So you can smell me. Hey, Wolfie, Wolfie, come on. Where's your friend? I need to find a place to rest. Come on, Wolf. Kill him out here, it's fine. Okay, let's warm up a bit. Oh, I've never been so hungry in my life. Uh, we can uh, do this. Let me eat that. And then, sorry. Sure. There should still be more wolves. Even though the blizzard is out, it shouldn't change anything. Uh, because of, uh, they were too close. But let's just keep going with this. See if I can make myself smell a bit. Oh wow, that's cold. That's alright. Now I smell. I need to uh, sleep to recover health, because I'm losing health very fast because of the dysentery. But I'm willing to do... to permit that for now. How much? Nine hours, sure. Uh, we might sleep for an hour. How long has this got? Yeah. I should be able to just reach this, actually. Oh, this is go upstairs. Let's sleep for an hour. Let's see here. One second. Okay. Alright, so... Mm, I'm gonna sleep, but I'm also gonna harvest some more. So, wolf hide... I guess I can wait. Let's grab some of this wolf. Just for the food. Oh, here's my... Here's my other wolf. See, I knew there were more. Come, wolfy, come. There we are. I knew there were more of them. I'm s there we are, more wolves, nice. Hey, Wolfie. Let's just rinse and repeat this, shall we? How many sticks and so on do I have? Eh, enough. We can put on uh, these also. We'd sleep anyway, so... This is all broken down, right? No, it's not. Okay, well, I can break that down after. Let's just sleep another hour. Rinse and repeat. Did the blizzard end? I think so. Yeah, it did. 
Pick that up. Cook some more. Any more wolves around? Bears? Something? Happy to take on more wolves here. I'm listening very closely to the sound while I'm doing that. Because, um... They could sneak up on you <laughs> while you harvest. There's four. Are there more wolves around? There's the bear, but he's pretty far away. He doesn't usually get this far. I think just... Uh, take that. Put down there. Three, nine minutes, sure. We'll just uh, sleep and repeat, rinse and repeat until this uh, dysentery goes away. That's what I'm going to do. I can cook all this meat. If possible, I'll take the wolf pelts. But I'm not terribly bothered if I miss out. Yeah, those are deer carcasses, aren't they? Uh, any more wolves around? Any more wolves? Bears? I don't think the bear will go this far. I don't think so. We want just the meat and maybe the hides. Yeah, grab all this, why not? I can lay down and have a little sleep right here. This is smarter. Have this handy. Because then if if the wolf does show up you can just shoot it. that on. Sleep again. Oh. Mm. Better idea is just to sleep 10 hours and then cure dysentery, but I just like doing it this way to maximize how long... Ah, there it is, it's healed. Dysentery is healed. But now I won't take excessive damage anymore. <laughs> Let's drop the meat that I've actually cooked, except for this part, which I can just eat. And let's just drop these. And let's just keep harvesting these guys. I think I would have run into more wolves by now, so I think I'll, I don't think I have to worry. But nevertheless, I'm going to be careful. Have this out because if you if you stink like this and then harvest, a decent chance that um, a predator shows up. You got this handy, you can actually avoid it. I think by now they would have come here. So, how long has this fire got? Four minutes. <laughs> uh, let's put some coal on. And then we're going to break down some crates. One of these crates, I think it's this one in the back here, has accelerant in it. The sun is setting. It's going to get a lot colder soon. Okay, it's the other one then. Unless I changed it. I can barely walk with this much gear. Wait, how long, actually? 38 minutes. Let's break it down. Uh, I think we use this. There it is, there's the accelerant. We'll probably sleep here tonight, I think. Let's just cook this. I think let's put all this on this for sleeping value. And there's more crates, but I want to see... Did I harvest all the food? I think it did, probably. Yeah, let's grab the hides, shall we? The guts I'm not too bothered about. The hides I'll take. 
Ah, more wolves. Yeah, I thought there maybe was another one, but... More wolves. Any more? No? Okay. Uh, I think I'll leave the point .6. I'm going to take this. If we get an Aurora, that's a bit rougher, but we'll be okay. It's cooked. Just keep cooking this stuff. We got a lot of food here in the base. We could make a fire out here too, which will be better cooking wise, but that's all right. So the one I just killed now was this one. I harvested that. So let's start harvesting the hides, but let's warm up first, I think. Uh, actually, rather than doing that, so 33 minutes. Yeah, let's break this down then. These crates here. I'll just use the hatchet. Is this faster? But yeah. And then take that. Then put some more on. Okay. We can hear the howl and they're not that far away. When picked up. I don't think you can cure in here. I can try out a curiosity. But I don't think you can. Just try it out. Yes, it says fresh. It doesn't say 1%. So I don't think so. Same as up here. I don't think you can cure up here. No. Let's keep cooking. And then breaking stuff down. Did I pick up the... Um, dog food from there? I guess I did, yeah. I think now I've killed enough wolves, so I think now we can start putting this uncooked meat on the ground here. Put the cooked meat. Well, we can eat this. Drink that. But now I don't smell as much. We'll take the hides though. So I got this hide now. Let's get this one. Oh, we did get an Aurora. Then definitely don't go out there smelling. Oops. And drop the set too. I don't want to attract the Royal Wolves now. <laughs> that would be very bad. Let's also destroy this crate here. There we go. Take these, put them in here. I guess we can take them with, I guess. Alright. It's cooked, okay. Where's the... Oh, yeah. Oops. We can lower this gun, doesn't do anything anyway. health, but that's alright. We're just uh, cooking here, really. 
how cold is it? Not that cold. Grab a hide. I want the hide for the base in case I want to make a wolf coat. Take it to Bleak Inlet. Okay, and then this should be done. Take this. And then we're almost done cooking this stuff. We can sleep for an hour. I'm not going out and follow Muskeg with uh, an Aurora. <laughs> not with this amount of health, at least. That's way too risky. Okay, let's get another wolf pelt. Get all of these, yeah. You're next. Yeah. Very cool, though. There's a cool Aurora. For sure. I can't feel my hands. Two hours. Might as well cook all of this, I'd say. Oops. Keep clicking one too many. Sleep another hour. We can also sleep in the bunker up there, so we don't. If we want to get some rest, we don't have to. Um, I could actually gone up there and drop the stuff to cure there, but that's all right. It's not like it's an urgent to cure this stuff. So, okay, one more hide, which is this one. Then we got all the wolf hides. Take those with us back home. All right, there we go, that's it. So we took a lot of health because of uh, loss because of the damage there, but that's okay. Let's make, actually, a herbal tea quick. And we have one of these left. Actually, let's make two herbal teas. I'm not going to drink it right now, but soon. Oh, I keep doing that. I'm clicking too many times. Three, seven. Let's just harvest some stuff. And let's also just use... Uh, do I have a whetstone on me? I do. Uh, let's just use it. I repaired these not long ago. But we're going to just do this. While that cooks. Cooked. All right, let's make some uh, water. This is one one liter, I think. It's enough. Uh, let's just do some more of this stuff. I'll sleep for a little while. Let's just use this sharpen as much as we can. And then we can use that on this until it's broken. More or less. And now this is boiled. Looks like a new day is dawning. There we are. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna sleep though until like into the day a little bit. So let's put on some of this. Until this is at least six hours. For seven hours, sure. Let's eat a wolf meat. Let's have a drink. Oh, a lot of water, but that's okay. And we got a bunch of hides and things now. So let's uh, sleep for seven hours. I think it's fine. We'll generate some health, but not everything. Okay, nice clear day. Uh, yeah, it's late in the day also. I think now is a good time to go. Let's take this, take that, take that. 
Uh, we don't really need to bring any food with us. This can just stay here. Let's tidy it a little bit, though. It looks like a real mess in here. Not savages, you know. <laughs> There we are. That can stay. This can stay. Yeah. I might take one liter with me. I am heavy, but not super heavy. That's something I say all the time. I need to harvest these things. Uh, there's some stuff I don't really need to take with me, I suppose, but... Uh, I haven't mapped oh, this, yeah. Okay, we need to get the memento cache, so we're gonna do that. And we are carrying the guts. I could leave them here, I suppose, but that's okay. We'll just carry them. Uh, we're a little bit heavy, but not that much, I guess. I think we'll just take this and leave. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I would like to have been not heavy, but that's okay. We're going to take a little detour back home by going this way and check out the memento cache. One issue is that there's a bear in the way. Um, but I don't think we need to confront him. And as you can see now, the reason I slept this long was I'm um, not too tired. And it's a clear day. Well, that's just a coincidence. That's just lucky. And it's late in the day, so now it's actually pretty warm. It's just minus four degrees, yeah. So, very, very easy. So we're going to go with this memento cache. There is a bear spawn over here, so he probably is out and about right now. And the bear will also come to me. So I have to be careful about that. He's usually around here. Don't see him right now, but before you know it, he'll show up. So the wolf hides, we don't really, didn't really need it. The main reason I stopped there was because I wanted to check the bunker. And then once I had that, the closest bed, uh, well, not bed, but the closest bed where you can cook was um, Forge. And uh, although I could have gone to the cave that's up there and started a fire in there. And then I have two slots. And I thought, let's kill some wolves because then we have some meat. There's no deer anyway, so... Get some wolf meat. And then I uh, get some wolf hides. I haven't made the wolf coat. There's the bear. I haven't made the wolf coat yet. And I don't really need it either. But as you saw in Bleak Inlet, it's, unless it's a clear day and still like this, Bleak Inlet is really cold. So often what I do is when I go to Bleak Inlet, I take uh, a wolf coat and a moose coat. Because then I weigh less, can travel faster, <coughs> and also I um, uh, have more protection. Well, decent protection, rather. Mm, a bit too low. These arrows are completely expendable, so I'm not bothered at all about fetching them after. Just in case. He's on my left now. kill this wolf. There is a distinct possibility. Yeah, we'll just kill him, I think. Yeah. 
We could try and scare him off like this with the stones. Uh, but even so, he'll, he'll be back. Because I smell. Uh, Alright. Well, you go and grab some of that if you want. <laughs> Guess you didn't want it, huh? I'm digging. Yeah, you go that way. Gotta warm up somehow. Okay, the cache itself is here. Just stone. This is what's inside. Ah, oh, the dog food disappeared. Did you see that? Because <laughs> it was expired, I think. I assume so, anyway. So that's it. We could map, but it doesn't really achieve anything. One more. Alright, fine. Then I guess you're gonna die. Oh, is this like a shielded area or something? Can't get in here? I guess not. Hmm. Might make a fire. I don't think we need to cook that guy, but um We need to warm up a bit. So what I was trying to do there was just throw the stones at him so he would uh flee by hitting him in the head, which you can you can do. But it didn't work. I think I'll make a fire over here behind these uh, things over here. I got the maglens. It's not particularly cold, so we'll just heat up some teas. Maybe make some water and then we'll go. Uh, there's the bear over there, okay. Fine, let's just make a fire behind this tree here. Like here. Oh, I'm bringing the reclaimed wood. I didn't realize I was bringing that. But that's okay. Um, I can use that in my main base. Rule number one when hunting wolves. Come on, little fire. Don't be afraid of the wolf. And rule number two is... Only engage with the wolf if you think you can take him down. So you need to make sure that, well, one thing is to be confident in your aim to take down the wolf. The other thing is that, let's say you miss, do you have the health? I didn't have the health, but I was pretty confident, so... He's gonna flee, so... Don't worry about him. We're gonna drop this. And we'll make some water. Uh, I can place this. Make some more water. And let's just uh, position some teas here. Actually, tell you what. Let's just take this. And make some more stuff. I want to make one more uh, herbal tea. And then we'll make some birch tea too. There we are. We're warming up. Warm up even more for standing here, I think. And let's just do like this. That's made. Now we'll make some of these T tea. Uh, just make sure these are not burning, right? Yes. And let's just craft some. I think we can craft some of these. Yep. Oh, you can heat up canned corn? Really? Oh, that's interesting. I did not know that. I don't think we'll ever do that, but... And then we'll do this. Ok, 
Okay. And I think I'm going to actually drink this right now. And I'm going to grab this stuff and go. Yoink, 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 yoink. Right, let's go. I'll probably eat this uh, rosy pie too. Oh, hello there. It is windy, but as you can see, not windy enough to blow out the torch. The only reason I'm really attracting wolves is because of the guts I'm carrying. That's pretty much it. <laughs> I also have a uh, meat on me, but that's really not a big deal at all. I think I'll just eat some birch tea and we'll eat this pie as well so we can go a bit faster. Let's just eat this. This is a headache, but that's all right. Now we are a bit lighter. The carcass and the bear. Uh, generally speaking, uh, I may have mentioned this before, I generally speaking leave their carcasses that are ravaged. That is to say, the found their carcasses. I tend to leave those behind and not touch them because then they are feather farms. So I can always go to them and pick up feathers. In, in a pinch, if I really desperately needed some meat, I could grab them and get some deer meat. But once you interact with the carcass, the deer carcass, once you interact with it, it triggers a decay timer and it will eventually despawn. I think it's, it then becomes like all other carcasses and it starts despawning within th three days. Um, but it's not until you interact with it. And that makes sense in a way because if, if, if it wasn't like that, then you know most of the deer carcasses in the world would just despawn before you even got there. So I think it's meant to indicate that it happened kind of recently, you know. So, um, yeah, that's why they uh, have that, I assume. <laughs> I'm gonna let this fire die out. Don't really need it. So for that reason, I don't really interact with them. Sometimes in the early game, I do interact with the carcasses and get some meat of them so I can have a bit of food but also I get the deer hides early so I can craft deer stuff early but once I have those things then I tend to leave them alone uh, I was tempted to maybe harvest one of them uh, by the farm just to get another deer hide but ended up not doing it okay we are good for now. We can just walk. We're heavy, but not that heavy. We're not particularly cold. We smell a little bit, but not too bad. From here, uh, there might be a couple of wolves in our way, maybe. Um, there might be the, the wolves that are they're up here. They might come down towards me, maybe. Might have to deal with those. This is why I like having fire hardened arrows. These things serve two purposes and are very expendable as well. Uh, the main purpose, in my opinion, is to hunt ptarmigans and maybe rabbits. Because uh, if you hunt ptarmigans with stones, the rest of them fly away. So you can only get one, maybe two if you're super lucky. But if you have these, you can kill all of them. And it also makes killing rabbits a little bit easier, I suppose. That's the main purpose of them. And it's great because then you don't have to use saplings. And they're super easy. I mean, you, these are infinite, these arrows. You just need sticks and feathers and that's it. So they're really, really good. Very easy to make and cheap. Uh, all renewable stuff. However, the second use for them, as I found out very early, is that you can make animals flee. If you hit them with the arrow before they detect you. Anything here to take? I don't think so. 
So it has that purpose. So I like to always have at least one stack on me. They tend to break, as you saw, when once you hit an animal with the arrow, they break. They're very low condition. So a normal arrow, this one I'm using now, the simple arrows, uh, they have certain condition loss. I tested this ages ago, unless they changed it. This is the rundown of it. Uh, I should maybe make a video about this, but uh, I never really felt the information was that essential, so I never bothered. But just for this um, arrow condition loss is dependent on what you hit. If you just hit the snow, you shoot and hit the snow, it takes between 3 and 5% damage. If you hit uh, a stone, then I think it's about half. And the same if you hit ice. Uh, however, if you hit wood, I think it's something like 20. I can't remember. I have the data somewhere. But all of that stuff is kind of irrelevant because unless you miss, then who cares about that? What is relevant, the only thing that's relevant is that when you hit an animal with it, this arrow, it takes 27% damage. Which means you can kill, or rather you can hit four animals with the same arrow. Because that's how many hits you can get in before the arrow breaks. And you can then harvest it and make a new one. So that means effectively, effectively, assuming you don't break it via other means, an arrow can effectively kill four animals. That's assuming you only need one arrow to kill it, of course, which very often is not the case. But assuming you killed every animal with one arrow, you can kill four animals with one arrow. Uh, that's how that, that works. And that's why you almost never see me use arrows, simple arrows, for things like rabbits or ptarmigans. Because I don't think they're worth the condition. Now granted, there are a lot of saplings in the game, and you can even get saplings from beachcombing now. So they are... It, it is possible to have arrows forever, but I'm very conservative like that, so I don't, I don't use them on rabbits and ptarmigans. I use them only on all the other animals. And that way you can serve their uh, resources. You can, uh, if you have 10 arrows, you could theoretically kill 40 animals with that, assuming you kill them in one hit. But it's usually not the case with bears and moose. So that's why I don't use simple arrows for those smaller animals. Uh, and if I miss, I try, not always possible, but I try not to hunt animals on things like ice and that sort of thing. Because if you miss, then uh, you're going to take a lot of damage on the arrows. However, with the fire-hardened arrows, these bad boys here, they are much easier to make. The sticks and feathers, which are plentiful, and they won't kill, they will kill small game, but they like ptarmigans and rabbits, but they won't kill wolves and anything else. They do zero damage to them. Um, a YouTuber called Bashrobe, which you should check out if you want like factual TLD videos and that sort of thing. He shot 400 arrows at a bear <laughs> of this arrow type. And it did nothing. Uh, however, they can scare off. Uh, animals. So instead of using a torch, so instead of lighting a torch and using a match for that, you can just shoot them with a fire hardened arrow, and then if you hit them, they'll run away. They'll come back, but they'll run away. So I like that. So because of that, um, I always carry a set of fire hardened arrows, like at least three, uh, preferably more, like four to six is best. Because when you hit an animal with the fire hardened arrow, it breaks on one hit. So unlike the simple arrow, which takes 27% damage, and you uh, can kill effectively four animals or hit four animals with it, the fire hardened arrow breaks on one hit. However, if you miss with the fire hardened arrow and it lands on the snow, I think it takes like 50% damage or something. You can actually find out actually. They are both 100%, so yeah, okay, we can just find out. If I shoot in the snow... I lost 10%. Okay. If I shoot it uh, at a tree... Lost... <laughs> this is the other one. So I lost 76. Right. But, I didn't break. 
as you can see. No, it's the same one. Okay, so it lost uh, 66 then. If I shoot at stone... And now I lost 74. <laughs> you see how the different surfaces vary. But... In both cases, in all of those cases... The arrow didn't break. So if I shoot this at a wolf or whatever, or even or a ptarmigan or whatever, and I miss, it doesn't matter because uh, they, it won't break. And I can just pick it up again and use it again next time. But even if I do miss and I don't collect it, uh, who cares? I'll just make more. They're very easy to make. So these are just like, they're very light also, like point, so carrying five of them is like half a kilo, you know, while a regular arrow weighs a little bit more. So carrying just a, a small selection of these arrows, just, just half a kilo, that's it, and, it, and it, it gives you a bit more options when you're out, you know, it gives you the option to easily hunt ptarmigans, easily hunt rabbits if you want to use it for that and scare off uh, animals. So it's just like an all-round nice little thing that it's it's non-essential, but it's so cheap and easy to make that it's just worth keeping on you, in my opinion. But that was the small rant <laughs> about fire hardened arrows and why you should carry some of them. Especially good in the early game also, because if you use them, use them to hunt rabbits and ptarmigans and stuff in the early game, it also levels up archery. Now one risk here is that it's really foggy and I smell of it, but not that much, but I do smell. And if I run into a wolf or something, there'll be very short uh, warning. Let's stop and listen for a second. I don't hear anything, so I don't think there's a bear coming, there's no wolves. Don't think the moose is out either. Hold on. No. This is actually one of the scariest weathers, because the animals can be out and you smell, can't see anything. Oh, I think we're good. A little bit scary. Alright, let's do a little sit rep here in base. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting some rabbits to make a bit more rabbit pies, actually. Or traveling, because after we've done some stuff here, we're gonna go out and travel. So let's see if we got some rabbits up here that would be handy. Any rabbits? It doesn't look like this rabbits. I could put some snares out actually. Uh, I could make some. A bit dark. Oh, there's a rabbit. I could shoot them, but I, I tend to prefer the stones against rabbits. I mean, there's two rabbits, I think. Yeah, there's two. Oh, come on, not this. <laughs> Happens all the time. Where do you go? Two rabbits. There's the other one. Can't hear him either. Where'd he go? Pretty sure I ran this way. Oh, there he is. He didn't run that way at all. Stone throwing takes a little bit of practice. Uh, if you want to get good at that, the best way to do it is how I killed the first rabbit. Which is to just crouch, because then they can't see until they're really close. And then just aim and throw it in their face. By far the easiest method. The other way is, generally speaking, you want to use your thumb as a aim point, And then it's above like kind of like between the fingers the gap in between is kind of like where you're aiming however it's not that simple because the stone 
this is not actually thrown forwards in a straight line. It's actually thrown at a little curve. If I had two stones, I'd show you. I do have two stones. So, for example, if I aim at... What's these? These things. These, these stones there, right? If I put my thumb there, for example, you can see where it lands. See how it landed a bit to the left of it? Uh, so it's it kind of bends towards the left. There's another one. If I aim, for example, over to this bush here, this is a bit further away. Let's put my thumb right under it. And you see when this, I throw the stone? See, it goes to the left, right? It actually hits more like the joint of my thumb. So to hit that thing, I need to aim a bit more like this way. And this is further away, so I have to aim high. Probably like, this is quite far away. Maybe around here. Oh, that was a bit too much to the right. But you get the idea. Uh, and you just practice that, but hitting a rabbit from here though, is, this is a Stone Age sniper achievement. Maybe like... Here. Yeah, there you go, see. As you can see, if I lower it, I'm actually aiming kind of there. And that's, that's how you do it. Yeah. And it's just practice. But you'll see me miss. There's uh, videos of me playing this game. But I miss like a billion rabbits in a row. So uh, don't feel bad if you miss. Everyone misses. I miss all the time. Stones. Rifle. Uh, no, I don't need you. You can go away. <clears throat> I miss all the time. Okay, let's... Uh, do some sit rep and stuff here. I might sleep first, maybe. We'll see. Alright, there we are. I want to refill this, so... How much is in here? Lots, okay. Let's really refuel. Let's organize our inventory a bit in here before we do anything else. Okay, so we got some wolf pelts. We got quite a few, actually. That's good. Let's drop these. We got some rabbit hides. We got quite a lot of rabbit hides. We don't have deer hides though. That's something we need to go out and do. Uh, why are they like here? It's kind of weird. Let's put this here. All of this. Saplings. We got a load of saplings as well. Got maple here. I don't want that there. Let's put that here. Okay, uh, and then we have a few misc things. We have uh, let's not put that there. We'll put that. We'll put a misc pile here. Of stuff to put down. So it's this, 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 that. Uh, why is we can put in a thingy? Uh, the rabbits will deal with in a sec. This I'm not going to use that anytime soon. Uh, Guess that's it. Accelerants as well. I think accelerants are in the thing though, aren't they? Yeah. So simple tools, add that to our collection. Can corn, that can go over here. Bunker stuff. Oops. Can. Spray can. Alright, the rest of the stuff is back in bleak inlet of the stuff I picked up. Alright, neat. Neato. And then let's do some misc stuff. Uh, we got... Actually, hold on. Before I do that, let's douse this. We're going to harvest these arrows that I've broken. And once I have... I mean, as exhausted as possible, I would like to sleep 10 hours. Then I'm going to sleep. Let's just do as much of this as we can. These ones, the uh, fire hardened ones, just give a feather, but we can still use the feather. This is another reason I like to carry a little bit of feathers on me at all times, in case I want to make some fire hardened arrows. Okay, there we are, nice. Um, might actually, not right now, I might make some more arrows. So here we go. We don't need all this cloth. Uh, the grounds we can keep on us. Let's I might make three arrows, which gives me nine, and I want to keep some on me. So 14, I want to keep 14. Uh, I can keep 16, that's fine. What else? Uh, yeah, let's make three arrows, that's fine. Put that in there. This in there too. Uh, 
see here. I need to make another bowl soon. It's going to break soonish. Coffee. <laughs> I got a lot of coffee. <laughs> Uh, these done in... Yeah, the accelerants are in here. Okay, this is almost full now. I have to rearrange that, but we'll do that later. Okay, let's harvest our rabbits. I'm gonna do it all with my hands, because we're not in a hurry. We need. We want to get tired anyway. Doesn't matter if you sleep into the day a bit. How's all this? And I want to use the rabbit to make um, rabbit pies. Okay, I think that's about it of the stuff. So let's see here. Uh, we have an extra hammer as well, which I don't have a use for right now. So let's leave that there. We'll put in our journal that we have one as well. So uh, trap is X2. Uh, oh, there are some more goals to add. We'll do that later. Uh, this we can scrap. So we're gonna instead we're gonna resupply main base and then head to PV set up base PV nine bunker PV. That's it. Okay, so what else is there? I think that's it for now. We'll drop this. Drop this. I think we're starting to look good here. We're gonna grab one of these, so I'll make those later. I do need to make another bow as well, but it can wait. Okay. I don't I think that's about it. Okay, I think we're going to sleep. It's not quite ten hours. That's close. I'll eat that. I'll drink one of these. I'll just carry the raw meat on me. It's fine. Uh, this should be enough for a few pies. All right. I'm going to sleep for 10 hours. Should recover quite a lot of health this way. There we are. Quite a lot of health. And this is looking good. Alright, so let's have some water. I do need to make more water here. Uh, let's see, hold on. Side here. Alright. I'm going to drop this rabbit stuff here though. Uh, we have ptarmigan meat too. How public is this? I mean, I'm not sure that's big enough to do anything with, but we'll see. Okay, um, let's see. No deer or anything. We do have some meat, which is good, and we can just. When I say resupply, I mean we can. We have enough food, so I don't really need to kill anything big. Although getting more bear hides is good, but I need deer hides so if there are deer out here that would be best but i need to i need to make water that's the main thing so let's uh make our shaft first and then we'll make three arrows and uh, before i do that though um i might actually make some snares we have a lot of guts. One, two, three, four snares. Why not? One, two, three, four. I don't usually use snares like at all. But uh, just because I might want some rabbits for, um, for things like pies makes things a little bit easier by having a few snares outside. We're going to put a few of them out there. One day we'll, we might do an experiment. We'll put like a hundred traps out to see what happens. That has been done by four by a YouTuber called My Usual Me. He put like a hundred traps out on, I think it was Jackrabbit Island. <laughs> and he got quite a lot of rabbits doing that. We'll do that another time though. But now we're going to put some here. It doesn't really matter how they work. So you can just do this. And it shouldn't make any difference. 
but it's in rabbit territory, so if you put them around here, uh, you won't catch rabbits. But over there, it should be fine. Always hopeful for deer. I do need to kill deer. I think there is one over there by the bear cave, though. But let's wait with that. So we made those snares. Now we want to make some arrows. And I'm just going to make them by hand. I'm not in a hurry, so... There we go. I do need to make some water soon. I'm hoping for a sunny day soon. Mm, this is... is this sunny actually? I don't think it is, no. Let me see if there's a deer over here. We can also check the traps, not that I need it, but... No. Alright, let's see here. I just want to check. Uh, the bear, if the bear is here, uh, I don't really need the bear meat as the thing, but we could kill the bear just for the hide. But yeah, the main thing I need to resupply the base with is supplies for repairs. So I need, I need deer hides and I need water. That's the main thing. Uh, and then bear hides is a second. Uh, often there's a deer over here. There's a sea. I don't think there is this time though. What about the bear? Where's the bear gone? Is he not? I guess he's dead. Yeah. Rabbits. So we don't really need the rabbits. Hmm. Okay. One thing I might do though. Uh, is up here. Up here there is also a deer that spawns. Let's see if the deer's here. The meat is fine, but we don't really need the meat because we have so much bear meat. But uh, what we really need is the hide. Finding there shouldn't be too hard. The issue is more grabbing the stuff and getting back to base. But we're probably going to do it next episode. But I'm just going to see if there is a there right here because there usually is one. There's a wolf right there. I don't see any deer. Wolf over there too. And over here there can be deer as well, but I think we'll leave those for later. Hmm. Okay, so we got wolves. We don't have deer. This is the wolf we have to watch out for. That wolf there. It's not so much that he's easy to miss when you walk around here. But the thing is that that wolf is close enough to your base that if you smell even just a little, he's likely to come running to to say hi to you. So when you get disturbing neighbors, that's usually the wolf that's the culprit of that. <clears throat> okay. I do need to make some water. I might use a match here. Uh, and just make some some water and cook some meat. So we have that at least. Which I think I am going to do. And we got some wood inside so let's just get on the train and do that. Uh, we got in here, let's see, we got a bit of, let's use this, this has been red I assume, and then we got this, and some sticks, gonna use nearly all of these, we don't, we don't need all these books, let's get rid of them, and let's just start a fire, okay, What are the odds if I use this stuff? 95. Okay. Okay, let's light this. I'm gonna use a match. And then we'll start a fire with this. Oh, wait. I made a mistake. I'm gonna use the book. That's what I was gonna do. 
But uh, that's okay. I'm just going to put the book on the fire because I can't be bothered to have them stacking around like that. So that's it. And then we're going to put on these books. Yeah, I haven't read this, but I'm already level five, so it's fine. And then put these on too. And then we're going to put one of them with this. And what do I need actually to make the pies? Wait, why am I carrying that? Oh yeah, of course, yeah. There we are, that's better. Uh, the pies, I forgot, so that's rabbit pie. We need oil and flour. Okay, let's do that. We got flour here, take that. Six. <laughs> I don't think that was enough, is it? No, we'll take both then. Oil, and that's it, right? So let's just go. Still got my stuff. <laughs> okay. Wait. Okay. Let's make the rabbit pie. Wait, did I not? Oh, of course. Rabbit pie, because this allows us to travel further. There we are. This is why I keep the flour and stuff here. We can make uh, a bit more. Yeah, that's good. Don't think there's anything to really do here at the moment. I could sharpen this to get rid of this whetstone. Yeah, is there anything that needs repairing? Minor stuff that can wait. Still looking for those wool socks, you know. Finally found the second of the sweaters, but I'm, I still need the second wool sock. And that were good. And also, you also get the hockey jersey and that sort of thing, but yeah, it is what it is. Okay, we can check here quickly. Any rabbits? No. <coughs> Anything to map here? Not really. I think we can just pass time. There's not really anything specific to do. I don't think. Fishing lure. Oh, we can maybe... Does this require work? No, it does. Yeah, it does. Scrap metal and wires. Yeah, we have a fishing lure anyway. But we want this one. Oh. Revolver shell casing. <laughs> Uh, I don't think I can make that unless I find shell casing. You can find an HRV sometimes. I can make this though, if I get acorns. Okay, well, anyway. Uh, these are pretty similar. Let's do this. Grab that. Now we got some rabbit pies. Grab that. Take that. Make some more water. Make some more rabbit pies. Drop them because I don't want Mr. Wolf to come running, at least not yet. <laughs> and this is rinse and repeat, I think. We don't really have anything we need to do or whatever, so... Sixteen minutes. It doesn't actually say how long you have to prep, I don't think. But this is spoiled, so I think probably twenty plus minutes, I guess. Ah, it's gonna pass time this time. Forty minutes. I think we can make one more, right? Yeah, one more. Yeah, so it's 20 minutes prep time. Mr. Wolf, if you want to come by, now that's a good time. Because uh, I'm ready for you. I 
Let's just make water and keep making these things. Uh, do I want peach pies and stuff? I, I think that can wait. I mean, that's a big deal. Now we got these. Really nice stuff. Uh, yeah, let's just wrap these up. And we'll just... This is too small, I think. Isn't this too small? Nah, uh, well, we can leave it anyway. Cook, uh... I have, uh, this. Let's cook that. I think we can get rid of the bow for now. Let's do this also. Uh... Put some brew and bear meat on here. Go by that. I don't have that much on here. Put some sticks on. Three hours. Let's eat one of these. There we go. I'm gonna stay up a little while. 41 minutes. It's about, about the same. That's not cooked. We can put one of these on again. And let's make water. We, we do need water. Water goes very fast. So we, we're just going to keep going until we use more or less all the wood. Take that. Can drop any of this gear. Uh, let's keep going. And here's the blizzard. I was wondering when it's going to show up. <laughs> but it's going to keep going though. Eventually the wind will turn. And when it does, well, it does. Then this session is over. Oh. Let's place some of this down here. More food is good. Pies, we can store the pies inside, that's fine. Uh, about the same. I think the wind's gonna turn eventually and this will just blow out. For now, though, we're lucky. And the wind is going the right way. We got some more water. How heavy are we? Heavy, but not that heavy. Not super heavy, as they say. Okay, there we go, blew out. Uh, okay, take this, take that, take that. We can have that on us. This is raw. Okay, let's just quickly check over here also. This pack is heavy. Yeah, we got a dead rabbit here. And some broken traps in the storm. Uh. Oh, did they break? Yeah, they broke, didn't they? They broke. That's fine. Let's take this out, because there could still be a wolf. We're going to sleep and then harvest this stuff. Yeah. Just gonna walk over to this bed. So cold. Think. Have a drink. Sleep for 10 hours. We'll be a little bit into the day. Probably around noon. We shouldn't get cabin fever though because we've been outside a lot. Okay, there we are. And then we're going to eat this bear meat. Have a drink. We're going to put some of this water here. Uh, here, let's drop like, I don't know, seven liters. It's better. We'll put some pies here, like these there. And these. There, for example. Actually, they should really they should really be here, really. Yeah. I don't need for now, I don't need this or that. 
put that back here. And then we need to, we can check the traps again, I suppose. This might be another rabbit in there now. Oh, nice and clear day. Could make more water then, but we'll see. Okay, nice. Uh, let's see here. Do I have those water purifier things? I think I do, don't I? Yeah, I do. Use uh, these two. I'm gonna get some more water. There we are. Can drop a little bit more here, water. Uh, and drop. Cool. And let's just harvest this rabbit quick. Uh, we'll use our hands for this. But then the knife for the rest. this. Drop the meat outside, use that later for more pies if you want that or whatever. Let's drop the hide here. Drop that here. Let's break down these. Broken snares, they, they can break really fast. I almost never use snares at all. I only put them there because sometimes I might want some Rabbit meat quick for whatever reason. Okay, let's drop this as well. I don't think we need 12 coal. We can leave it here in the base for sure, but four is fine. And then <clears throat> let's drop this rabbit meat outside. Here. These we can take with us. So we might do some hunting out here. And there we are, I think. So let's just have a quick look at our inventory now. I forgot to make more fire hardened arrows, but that's okay. This we can dump. Uh, I think we are good now. Yeah, we are good now. Let's drop this thing. <coughs> For the despawn, this. Uh, where was it here? This. There, despawn, nice. Uh, these we can also actually, we don't need these. These we can drop and put over here as firewood because we are already archery level 5, so we don't need those. If I do want to have a book to read just to do something, uh, it would be this one here, the ice fishing. So we could maybe carry that around. Uh, that is an option actually, just to have something to read. Okay, yeah, I think that's fine. Then we will have. Oh, Chips. Uh, I don't think that's worth keeping. Let's eat it. <clears throat> and then that. And now we're actually getting somewhere. So let's just save. And look at our health. Full health. Back in we go. And there we are. Okay, fellow survivors, I think that's the end of this episode. So that was uh, quite good. We did some fallen musk egg stuff where we uh, <coughs> checked out the bunker, did uh, found a memento cache, killed a bunch of wolves and harvested them and got their pelts in case I want to make a wolf coat. I'm not going to make it anytime soon, but when I plan to go to Bleak Inlet again, or maybe even Forsaken Airfield, Forsaken Airfield also is really cold. Um, then I might make it. The, but for now they're going to stay here. And we got some more water in here too. And we got a lot of food. But we need to cook more stuff. So but now I need to head to Pleasant Valley. And do the next signal tower. But before we do that. I want to resupply the space some more. And I got most of everything here. But I like to have the main base especially. You should always have plenty of stuff. So when you come back. You can do whatever you need to do. Repair, heal, whatever. Uh, the regional bases should have some stuff, like a little bit of food, a little bit of water. All of the bases around the world should always have a little bit of supply so that when you get there from a journey, you should have some food and water and so on. So at least you can do something when you get there. But the main base should have enough for you to repair whatever you need and have food and water for however long it takes to heal up or whatever and at the moment this base is okay 
It could use a bit more water. It could use deer hide, which I don't have anything of. And it can use bear hides too. So we're going to go out and get those things and some more wood so we can make more water. And once we've got some more of that, uh, we're going to head to Pleasant Valley. So next time it will be more hunting. Maybe we'll do some fishing, but I don't think so. I don't think we're going to do fishing until I need to refuel the jerry cans, which is not right now. Uh, we'll do that at some point, though. So yeah, so that's it for now for Survivors. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.